Hello, hello, hello to all of my Aquarius. This is Queen Amon Ra coming to you with your bonus reading. Like I said, you guys are getting bonus readings as gifts um, throughout Aquarius season. Aquarius, let's get right into it. Let's get into it. Let's get into it, Aquarius. Happy full moon. Happy full moon in Leo. Remember, a full moon in Leo in particular, because Leo is ruled by the sun, is really asking the question of you, what sets you apart from other Aquarius? You know that your entire universe is conspiring together to um, help you to find the light within yourself so you can live the absolute best life here on earth. That's why I talk about uh, pulling your birth chart so much. Find out what your moon sign is. Find out what your rising, your Venus, your Pluto, your Saturn. Like Find out what all of the placements in your birth chart are because that's just what's going to set you apart from any other Aquarius. Our birth charts are like our unique fingerprint here on earth, right? And so find out what, your, find out what sets you apart from other Aquarius. Find out what sets you apart from other queries. Let's get right into your reading. Some very strong energies are coming through as I'm shuffling your cards, Aquarius. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. Um, your, uh, your, the reading that's uh, titled February the 5th through the 28th has the questions. The, the, um, the last quarter moon and Scorpio questions. Here we have the Queen of Swords. We have the Ace of Pentacles, the Queen of Pentacles, the Sun card, the Hangman, and also the Devil card, right? So there's a lot of temptation. Source is saying to somebody that, first of all, the enemy can only come in through your mind, Aquarius. And by the way, I haven't forgotten about your, you guys' three-month predictions. It'll, it'll just pop up one day. You'll just see, oh, three-month prediction. There it is. That's the video. That's all, another gift to you guys, the three-month prediction video. And thank you to the person who um, suggested that. And congratulations to everybody who's won gifts. All right. So you have the Ace of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles. And also the Queen of Swords, right? So somebody has had an encounter with demonic energy. And demonic energy is really... <clears throat> remember the enemy can only come in through your mind the enemy represents our flesh it represents our lower cells it represents our root chakra it represents our root chakra right and so when we talk about root chakra because i'm going to walk this through slowly since this is another bonus video for you guys um first two questions you want to ask yourself the transformational power questions first and foremost for your root chakra since it's in your major arcana here you have your um yeah, so the first transformational question, and remember transformational uh, power questions are uh, why questions that invite your subconscious mind to respond with lots of good reasons why these transformational power questions are true. Root chakra transformational power question could be why am I becoming more and more abundant every day? Keep that in mind as we go through your reading. And then also why am I becoming continually more grounded, Right. Somebody encounters some kind of energy that it, the somebody is on their spiritual journey, right? And so your spiritual journey could mean that you're a spiritual healer to some degree. We're not necessarily talking about titles like Reiki healer, pastor, priest, uh, shaman, reader. We're not not necessarily titles, but you're on your spiritual journey. And your, your spiritual journey has taken you a lot of places. So what that may look like in a natural sense, when we talk about your root chakra, is could have been a person who's um, who moved around a lot, who constantly moved homes, somebody who was maybe like uh, financially unstable at some point, um, who was always experiencing feelings of anxiety or even accident prone. They could have felt dis uh, disorganized in their thoughts and in their everyday life, just like I just couldn't get it together. You may have experienced anorexia. You may have had chronic constipation, maybe issues with your knees, your feet, your bowels, your blood, your bones. You could have, because all of that um, is right there at the base of your spine. It's associated with the element of earth. We're talking about your root chakra, right? Or you could have experienced inertia. You could have dealt with some kind of an addiction of some sort. You could have been hoarding, not just physically hoarding things, Aquarius. It could have been hoarding past memories where it just felt like there was a blockage. Things weren't coming through. Um, you could have experienced obesity, greed to some degree, depression, feelings of laziness, overeating, issues with your knees, feet, bowels, blood, bones. Here are some things that can help you really get settled, rooted, and grounded, right? 
Your root chakra is developed between the ages of birth to the age of seven, zero to seven, right? And so this enemy right here was really threatening somebody like it's like somebody just trying to get settled down and build relationships like build solid relationships right and so this energy right here was threatening somebody's stability right and so it had more of an initially it had an adverse effect because it's like gosh as soon as i get settled in a place i gotta meet certain people who are just evil why why is that energy being sent to me right so remember how I always talk about how powerful you guys are, Aquarius, is air signs who are also water bearers. This is earth energy right here. So imagine you trying to pitch your tent here on earth and deciding, hey, I want to settle here. I want to settle in this job. I want to build here. I'm going to settle in this organization. I want to build here with organizations of church, fraternity, sorority, uh, some kind of a group that you met. I want to settle. I want to pitch my tent here. I want to settle in this neighborhood. So let me get to find out the, where the mall is, where the shops are, where the, the eateries are, where, where the restaurants, that kind of thing. I'm, I'm trying to get settled, rooted and grounded. But you could have met somebody who was operating in fear and doubt, really operating in the flesh that looks like jealousy, envy, so on and so forth. In other words, demonic energy, but it was really their own demons, right? So here you are getting settled and you're thinking, okay, well, I'm a nice person. That's the energy I send out into the universe. So that's the energy I want back. But remember, your air is your power and your intellect and your water is your creativity and your emotions, right? And so somebody may have allowed some kind of demonic energy to say or do something like pour dirt in your water. And you may have drank of that water, those toxins from your water, right? And so now that you decided, hey, that thing sent me right back to my throne. I'm cutting them off and I'm cutting off the emotions attached to it. Matter of fact, my emotions are right here under lock and key. So don't start nothing, won't be none, right? I got my sword in my hand. If I see you, you say something crazy. Remember, you got a key to controlling your emotions, right? So I see somebody settling down somewhere, but I see you leaving behind lower frequency energies unapologetically, right? It's not that you don't know how to interact with them. It's just that you choose not to, right? You've left somebody, you've left somebody else's universe, right? And so source is saying to you, your mind wasn't playing tricks on you. You weren't delusional. You weren't going crazy, but you want to use that imagination to dream bigger, not to keep feeding this thing in your mind, keep replaying scenarios over and over and over again in your mind of that energy trying to, um, destabilize you, right? Or make you feel insecure about something or even test your loyalty or disrupt the prosperity that source has coming your way in your relationships, the abundance and your wealth, your money and all those things and cause you to be less tenacious, right? And also trying to ruin your career success. Like somebody had a serious encounter with the devil, right? The devil, the somebody else's demons, right? And so the fact that you you step down off of your throne to entertain it. A person is trying to get you, like, to bait you into staying down off of your throne, but you've gotten back, back on your throne. Here we have the Queen of Pentacles, the Three of Pentacles, the Hierophant card, the Strength card, the Wands card, and also the Emperor card, right? So Source is saying to you, no matter what, because remember, remember um, these moon phases, remember moon is feminine energy, right? The sun is masculine energy. The moon is feminine energy, right? And so the, as you, where's, where's the card? We have the emperor card and the hierophant card. So source is saying to you, whatever demonic energies that you've encountered, you got to first know the definition of a demon, metaphysically understand what a definition of a demon is. It represents our carnal mind. It represents our flesh. In short, it represents our flesh. It represents feeling like you made poor decisions in the past and you can't move beyond those things. Things that will cause you to feel like you're insecure and unstable, you know, um, that you, you are like mentally unstable, like emotionally just out of balance. You, you move from this place to the other. You hold grudges for a long time. Like people try to get you to question yourself as if you're the one that's delusional. When in reality... You are, you have, um, your imagination is also your gift. 
it's also this will allow you to transcend you, source wants you to ascend higher right so we got so somebody is like i said this spiritual journey we're gonna put the devil card here and represent this energy right here is your spiritual gift right we got the emperor card here so this emperor card lets me know that the emperor card lets me know that um people see you as being very rooted grounded you are helping to ignite other people's flames. Remember the emperor card is attached to a fire sign, but it's ruled by Mars. Mars is the energy planet. So the more energy you give to people who are trying to make you come across as unstable um, and insecure and constantly moving around and can't keep friends and can't keep a job and nobody likes you and all this other stuff if you let that sit in your mind like i said the only way that the enemy can come through is through your mind it's the warfare of your mind like your higher self and your lower self we always we, everybody know how the story ending uh ends god always wins right most high god wins right this energy is was trying to become your god to get you to vibrate at such a low frequency to be right down in the hell with them and it could be several people who wanted you to be in that hell with them so now that you have now that you're on your spiritual journey and because you look like i don't know if you are ever you guys have ever heard that you know like some some pastors have said you may be the only bible that a person will ever read right so make it good if you ever read the bible from genesis to revelation there's a lot of salacious stories in there lots of juicy dramatic debauchery i mean you talk about drama it's all in the bible right people can cherry pick scriptures and oh you shouldn't do this but if you really read the stories with all the killing and the backstabbing and the prostitution and the it's jesus kicking over the tables and you know peter cussing everybody out and just going off i mean all kinds of stuff you've come that far so that you can help other people that's why you got it this why the strength card you've gone through all of those life experiences so that you can be a better you can help people to find the light within themselves and that's what the enemy is afraid of the enemy the enemy of people's lower selves trying to distract you to death so things are going to happen much quicker for you if you don't step down off of your throne of getting that message out to the world if you don't step down off of your throne okay also source is we got the queen of pentacles twice source is going to keep sending energies across your path that's going to not waste your time anymore that's going to further let you know you've pitched your tent in the right place and so you can build from here again queen energy queen energy i'm talking to men and women Queen energy vets energy. Your yeses are yes. Your no's are no. You're no longer, you say, I found my throne again. I see the light. This is again, you finding your, your life purpose. I see what my life purpose is. I just got to stay strong. I, I got to stay strong. You know, if you ever in a position where you are, you, you are on your throne, you have to be able to conduct yourself accordingly because there's always going to be somebody who's going to try to throw rocks and hide their hands. There's going to always be somebody who is going to talk negatively about your Aquarius because they're trying to get you to lower your frequency to go off on them, right? That's exhausting to get down off of your throne. And so source is saying your money is in perfect alignment. Here we have the three of pentacles. So for somebody, somebody is absolutely walking in their gift. Somebody is on the perfect job because source is like, you got to remember the reason why you're there you're there to help inspire people people look at you as helping them to find their life purpose your energy you see things in people that a lot that they don't even see it in themselves yet but you inspiring them then you also got to know when it's time to come out of their universe aquarius so now that i've helped you find a light within yourself i'm not trying to create a codependency relationship instead i've helped you find a light within yourself i can't take the credit i was being obedient to source in me because i was once there where you were right so here we have the eight of wands so like i said before things are going to happen very quickly for you aquarius as you continue to be obedient to the voice of source in you which sounds like your voice it's not paranoia. Just like you weren't making things up about energies that you left behind, you're letting whomever think whatever because there's a much greater purpose. 
much greater purpose. They're going to be people that's from your past where you were on a lower frequency that you thought, okay, I can, I can step down off my throne and I can help these people. I, I have the answer. But remember, your light was irritating their demons. And so now that you're back on your, your throne, they're going to say, oh, I remember when Aquarius used to do X, Y, and Z with me. I mean, they don't, who do they think they are? They think they're better than somebody. I got dirt on them. It doesn't matter. Let them keep slinging the dirt because now you understand truly how karma works, right? Aquarius, now you understand how karma works. Some of the things that you can do to uh, help get your root chakra back in alignment is some of the essential oils are sandalwood, patchouli, cedar wood, black spruce. You can also look for some more online. Some of the, um, some of the gemstones are garnet, ruby, black tourmaline, hematite, red jasper, bloodstone are also some. Yep. So it looks like there's some energy with the main thing. We got the uh, Ace of Cups and the Two of Cups. The main thing here is that you're learning how to protect your heart. You're learning how to protect your heart, right? Putting yourself first, learning how to protect your heart. And also you're doing things to nurture yourself. You are your own soul mate. And so as you learn to forgive, remember full moon, you can set out your gemstones and crystals. This is a really good one. If you have the uh, rose quartz or love stone is what some people also call it. Supercharge all those things, right? Charge those things up because when we move to this last quarter moon in Scorpio, it's going to be further digging up past, um, past life uh, things that source is trying to get somebody to heal from. So more of loving up on yourself and forgiving people, but also protecting your heart. So that means if you have to leave an organization or a group or, uh, you know, a friendship, any kind of a relationship, professional, romantic, platonic family, it doesn't matter what, if you decide I need to purge, I need to leave some things behind that's on a lower frequency. You're not looking down on people as if you're better than they are. It's just that you found your light and you found your, your higher purpose. You found your purpose here in life. And so you're not backing away from that, but <clears throat> see this right here. So this 10 of wands lets me know that somebody's going to be booked and busy. Lots of duties and responsibility because somebody has found their life purpose, right? And so all these times that you've gotten enlightened at these station points, you can look at it as like I was burned here or I was enlightened here. It's about perspective. I was burned here. But I, or I was enlightened here. I was burned here or I was enlightened here, right? This could have been a job. This could have been a family relationship. This could have been a romantic relationship. I was enlightened. I collected all of this knowledge on my journey. Now I feel like I got enough to get back on my throne. So I'm moving on from something. And so this is also going to help me to be a better healer to a lot of people. Cause that's what I'm saying. Like this helps me to be a better healer to people, not for the purpose. And I got to reiterate this. Um, not for the purpose for you all to walk around and say, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Cause remember finding your light or the sun within yourself, it can make a person arrogant. It can make a person dogmatic and prideful, especially if you don't know when to pull out somebody else's universe, like leave their universe. It can make you say some things, especially as a, a, the smartest sign in the Zodiac, your, this is sword energy. Um, and, and you also have water, your, your water bearer as well. It can make you say some things that could downright cut a person straight. I mean, like to have them thinking about something for the rest of their lives. You do not want to abuse your power at all. That would be a very hurt somebody with a title of healer instead of being a healed healer. You don't want to be a hurt healer. There's already enough hurt healers, you know, hurting it, people left and right. So there's some, this lets me know that there's some people from your past that still have some deep emotions about you. They're still thinking about you, whatever they're thinking about, bottom line, whatever they did to manipulate you, lie to you. Again, I'm not putting anybody in victim mode. Whatever they did, their time is up in your universe because you're not allowing them back into your universe. So see how this pig is flying with wings? This person got their eyes up in here. They're like, I wouldn't let this energy back into my universe even if I saw a pig with wings fly through the sky. And there's the pig with wings, right? But it also lets me know that somebody's soulmate is coming across your path. That's why it's important when we are in these moon phases to just get your rest, be in receiving mode. You all are senders, right? Of messages out to the universe. So somebody has been sending a message out into the universe. I want to meet somebody who's not going to waste my time. My time is my currency. It's connected to my relationships with people. I want to meet somebody who's not going to waste my time. 
what somebody was trying to do again when you had an encounter with a demonic energy who was operating from their lowest self who can't see the light within themselves they can't see their life as a better way it could have been somebody who was older than you are who felt like okay well how does this how is this person younger than i am they don't they can't teach me anything that in their in their ignorance they don't realize that wisdom does not uh, age does not equate to wisdom that could be one example right so they don't understand it. So, but again, you're never letting them back into your life again. They're going to have to watch you from the nosebleed seats or hear about all the good work that you're doing. Just stay focused, Aquarius. Stay focused, stay focused, stay focused. And I do see somebody in a posture of gratitude of just waking up and just saying, wow, thank you for, thank you source for teaching me whatever lessons I needed to learn and help. Thank you for helping me to find the light within myself. Like see these people looking up at the stars. It's like, Thank you for helping me find what my purpose is here on earth and what sets me apart from other aquarium, uh, other Aquarius, excuse me. Here we have the seven of wands. So I do see somebody spending a lot of time meditating, being in receiving mode because your prayer is you talking to source within, but your meditation is you sitting still through, you know, through stillness or nature, learning and receiving, receiving those messages. When I say nature, we're talking about mother nature feminine energy receiving messages okay so yeah aquarius let's keep it moving forward let's keep it moving forward let's keep it moving forward so the energies that source is sending across your path are going to really help you um like i said you got perfect alignment here they're not going to waste your energy they're not going to waste your time they're not going to waste your money right matter of fact they, they will be able to glean from you just as much as you'll be able to glean from them because they see the the king or queen energy in themselves just like you see it in yourself right let's see what else we have here we have the three of pentacles again. We have the judgment card. We have the king of swords. We have the eight of pentacles. We have the eight of swords. We also have the queen of pentacles again, queen of pentacles again. So we got the queen of pentacles three times. Again, somebody is not going to waste your time. They know how down to earth, how relatable you are, how, um, how much of a good heart you feel like to them. You feel like mother earth to them. You, 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 your energy feels rooted and grounded. You make a whole lot of sense. You seem clear. That's what, when you come across people who are on, who are on your frequency, they see you on the throne and they speaking from their higher self to your higher self. It's easy to spot this energy right here. It's easy to spot this energy right here. Like they will be able to come back and say, I can see why that person saw you as a threat because you know who they, who you are. But you're also able, you also to see exactly through to who they are without ever opening up your mouth. You're not trying to hurt them. You just recognize, matter of fact, you have compassion. But the, the thing about having compassion for the devil is like the devil is always trying to compete with God in you. So this is an energy that you have to cut off. You have to steer clear of this forever. You have to steer clear of that. But again, I do see somebody, this judgment card right here lets me know at a higher frequency, your ancestors are very proud of you for breaking some kind of a generational cycle, breaking some kind of generational chain. So it's this, your reading is multi-layered when I look at it here, because this, um, this judgment card is attached to Pluto. Pluto is the planet of power and transformation. A lot of people see you as very, very powerful. They see you as a person who will give life to a situation, but will quickly leave it if it doesn't, if it's not on your same free, if it doesn't serve your highest purpose, you'll leave it. You'll end it. That's life and death. Like you're not giving any more air to it. You're not giving any more water to it. Remember, um, judgment card attached to Pluto is also attached to Scorpio, which we're coming up on last quarter moon in Scorpio. Scorpio is a water sign. So something allowed you to go down to the depths of hell to see just how dark a person's energy can be and said, nah, this person, this it's like they so far down here and they, they only connect with other dark energies, gossiping, setting people up, doing all kinds of stuff. Like you saw that in their spirit. You're like, no, let me go get back on my throne. Not because I'm afraid of this for yourself, but just like, I don't even want to be connected to that. I don't even want to be connected to it. So as long as you stay down in this position with them, that's exactly how you saw them like this. You saw them in a position of being, um, 
in bondage. They were in their own personal hell. They couldn't even see the light. They couldn't see the blessings or burdens coming their way. And so that's how you saw somebody. So you said, no, nah, let me get back on my throne because I don't even want to be contaminated by that energy. Remember, this, this eight, the number eight is connected to your spiritual vision, but it's also connected to an infinite amount of resources. And so when source is saying to you, I'm sending you energies across your path, Aquarius, to let you know that they're not going to waste your time. They're not going to waste your resources. They're not going to waste your energy. That's what you want to focus on. And again, we got the three of pentacles twice. Again, further reiterating, somebody is in the perfect job for them. You just got to ask source. Like if you work in a job right now and you got to ask source, so what's my whole purpose of being here? Be prepared for the response. You've asked source, what's your purpose here? Your will. This is your a solar plexus chakra. What's my purpose here? What, why, why am I on this job? What am I doing this? Why do I keep experiencing demonic energy? So it's just like, okay, I send that energy across your path, across your path so that you can help them find the light within themselves. But if you get to a point where you feel like you're overstage your time in their universe and now they're starting to disrespect you, they're starting to take you for granted, it's time for you to find a light back in yourself, back to your way, back to your throne, right? So again, perfect alignment. So you've been obedient to sources, instructions to you. You followed them to the letter, no matter how long you've stayed in a position where, again, you felt like you had on blindfolds and you felt like you were restricted. Sources like time is relative. So you stayed as long as source wanted you to stay there. Source allowed you to stay there. And now you've come through with enormous amount of wisdom. Your throat chakra is in alignment. You are knowledgeable Aquarius. And so you're back on your throne, very wise in a position to help people. Again, we got queen energy as far as your money is concerned. That's receiving mode. And we also have uh, uh, royal energy when it comes to your sending energy, right? You send out a message to the universe that you don't have a problem receiving people as long as they see the light within themselves. And then you give them a greater level of access um, than you would people who are operating in fear and they are disrespecting you. They want you to be just as miserable as they are. Then we have the eight of pentacles, right? So <clears throat> the sooner you, you're able to identify um, people who see who can speak to you with respect and kindness that you've given to them speaking lay terms now that you can, you can do that. Then for you, it's going to feel like, wow. Um, for you, it's going to feel like, okay, now I understand that I felt like when I, when I measured time in, in, in terms of like a calendar or years or days or weeks or minutes or hours or whatever, now it makes sense why I thought I wasted my time. But the bigger picture is that source allowed me to stay there for that length of time so that I can learn a greater message so that when I leave their plate, that leave their, when I leave their universe and I go back to my throne, they'll start to understand, wow, you know what? I, I didn't see what what Aquarius needed me to see. Like I didn't even see that God was the one that sent them across my path. Right. So let's run through again. This is a bonus. Um, you have the stones and the gemstones and the essential oils for getting your root chakra back in alignment, you know, pitching your tent, settling down somewhere. Um, also, like I said, moving on from something that may have burned you, you know, in the past, or you can look at it burned you or enlightened you, you know, in the past. Um, you are, hmm, okay. You are, um, and you are, so talking about um, Pluto, Pluto being the power, uh, the planet of power and transformation coming up on this. Last quarter moon in Pluto start kicks off on the 13th. So hopefully let's make sure we got this structured Aquarius. So the full moon in Leo, Leo is ruled by the sun. The sun is connected to our identity and our life purpose, right? 
So you are in receiving mode of the messages about what your life purpose is, right? So you're not frustrated about the job that you're on because that can cause, it can cause people to get frustrated if you don't know, if you don't feel like you're walking in your purpose or if you're not looking at it from a higher frequency, right? You can get a frustrated, am I, am I really in the right profession? Am I really on the right job? So you're asking source, what is my purpose where I am right now? Like what lessons do you want me to learn where I am in my life right now? You're in receiving mode of those messages, right? So spend, so carve out some time to sit with yourself, which is source, sit with yourself to get clear answers. What was the purpose of me being, of you sending energies across my path? Source, part of the answer that's going to come back to you, Aquarius, is that I sent them across your path for you to help them to find the light within themselves. The gentleness in your voice the gentleness in your delivery, in your word, your words, your actions towards, and the kindness in your heart um, did not go unnoticed by source. But when it was time for you to remove yourself from the equation, you don't have to look back and wonder, are they going to run smear campaigns? Are they going to talk about you like a dog? Or are they going to try to ruin your reputation running smear campaign? You don't have to worry about that. When you're dealing with the person that's already in their own personal hell, there's nothing you could do or say to hurt them. They've already put themselves there. So you're moving on because it's like, okay, I'm packing up and I'm moving on. My assignment here is done. I did what I was supposed to do. Source is well pleased with me. I'm moving on, right? Um, another healing, another uh, thing, a healing method you can do to get your root chakra in alignment would be aromatherapy. Hatha yoga is also good. Reflexology is good. The gemstones that I mentioned before, which like I said before, are garnet, ruby, black tourmaline, hematite, red jasper, bloodstone is also good. Um, drumming is also good. Where are my little drums at? You're beating that negative energy out of your space is also really, really good. Um, it, those things are also really, really good. Um, so let's run through. I want you to pull your birth chart because... Pluto is a transpersonal um, planet. It is, it suggests collective rather than personal themes. So you want to find out what your Pluto is and you want to find out like how from that space, because when you think about Pluto, you think about secrets. It could be family secrets or people that think they know secrets about you. It could be purging. It's about purging and renewing, like purging, you know, um, leaving things behind, releasing them again in love and just knowing that it's like almost like spring cleaning kind of a sense. I mean, that's not the best example, but it's almost like, OK, I've had these boxes sitting over here in these parts of the house for years. Now it's time, finally for time for me to take them to Goodwill or um, what's the other one? You um you know what I'm saying, right? So it's time for me to release those things. It's time for me to purge those things. Um, it also represents transformation. It also represents getting control of your life, like staying on your throne, not getting off of your throne anymore. It represents metamorphosis. It represents you've been through, you've survived some situations, and now it's time for you to thrive. It also represents taboos. It represents some kind of profound change, you know, in your life. So, yeah, so it represents all of those things so that, again, you don't have to feel like, you know, wow, like what, you know, what in the world, right? What in the world? Let's see what else we got going on here so we can get ready to um, close out. You know, let's see what else we got going on here so we can go ahead and close out your reading, Aquarius. Let's see if we have some more cards for you. These are the good karma cards. These cards right here are the good karma cards. I know a lot of you all ask me, which cards are you using? These are the good karma cards. This deck right here, let me hold these up because I know people ask all the time, are the Orisha Tarot deck. Um, these are the Light Sears Tarot deck. These are the Good Witch Tarot deck. <laughs> um, if there's any other decks that you all want to know, just ask, just let me know. Uh, but these are the, this, this deck right here is the Good Karma deck. Oh, these are the Glamour Tarot deck. 
Um, and so these are the good karma deck. All right, let's let's pull another set of cards and see what else we got going on here. Aquarius, is, again, this is a bonus reading for doing Aquarius season. You guys are getting bonus videos along with the other gifts that you all have received. Let's see what else. Let's see what else. Well, let's see what else. So again, tap into your strength. Somebody's on their spiritual journey. You just need to ask source, what is the purpose of me being on this job? What is the purpose of me being on this earth? What is the purpose? What's my purpose, right? Remember... Um, your entire universe, meaning all the planetary alignments that you're going to see on your birth chart are working together. They're conspiring to bring you into the light, your life purpose, so that you can live an even better life here on earth. Again, eight of pentacles, ace of pentacles. You got three cards. That's the queen of uh, pentacles. You really come across as very clear minded, a person who is rooted and grounded. You're down to earth. And that makes people want to connect with you. But it also shows those same people why your spirit irritates people's demons and how other people. So you don't even have to run around explaining yourself as to why you're no longer friends with certain people, why you don't work in certain jobs anymore. You don't even have to explain yourself anymore because the people who see themselves on the throne in their universe will be able to quickly spot it. You don't even have to, you don't even have to waste your time. Your time is your currency. You don't even have to waste your time even explaining things that while somebody is in their own personal hell or people are in their own personal hell. Let's see what else we got going on here. Here we have the Queen of Cups, the Hermit card, the Wheel of Fortune, the King of Wands, the Knight of Coins, and also the Two of Wands. So the King of Wands, the Two of Wands, the Hermit card lets me know that, again, you're in receiving mode of messages. Remember Mercury, which is Virgo's ruling planet, and it's also Gemini. We don't see Gemini up here, but it's, uh, it's you're in receiving mode of messages, right? Listen to all the downloads that's coming through. Moon energy is feminine energy. That's where you want to make sure you, you know, get some good sleep. You want to rest your mind. You want to clear out everything so that you can hear with the, the voice of source with inside of you. Here we have the wheel of fortune. All the time you may have felt like you wasted. If, you, if you're looking at it as like calendar time or clock time or whatever, source is going to give all of that back to you. So again, don't waste your energy worrying about somebody trying to ruin your reputation or trying to say or do something to hurt you in any way, shape, form, or fashion, Aquarius. You're on, back on your throne and you see things coming. You don't, you're, not on, you're not like this anymore. You're not sitting around with blindfolds on about the truth. Some people saw that in you when you got down off of your throne. So it, it's like the saying, like the saying goes, um, some people will help you. I, okay, I'm about to get the saying. <laughs> It's like some people will help you lose everything. They don't see they don't see themselves. They don't see their own throne. So they want to they want to get you in they want to put you in the same energy that they're in. They want to put you in the lowest frequency of yourself so they can have some dirt on you later on. So where there is no dirt, they got to make up some. So when I say there is no dirt, it doesn't mean that you're perfect. It just means that they will they will exaggerate a story about you. So, so it, 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 bottom line, source is saying to you, you got the whole world in front of you. You got new energies coming across your path. I see a lot of you all traveling, new job opportunities. I mean, all kinds of things, new opportunities to make money. Here we had the king of wands. I see somebody's business doing extremely well. We got the queen of cups. This lets me know, again, somebody is extremely compassionate. But again, we have this right here. You're continuing to invest in yourself. Like I said before, you don't need to spend another moment thinking about what people are saying about you, Aquarius, because you're continuing to work hard and invest in yourself. And you want to start seeing the fruits of your labor because of the energy, the work that you're putting in yourself. Your heart is in the right place when you're trying to help people. Somebody just had it a little distorted because when you're on a lower frequency, it's hard to see it's hard to see clearly on a low frequency because you're down there trying to help somebody else find a light within themselves. That's, and it's only pertaining to this right here. This is somebody's purpose is to help people find a light within themselves. But you're doing it in a very unique way based on what your birth chart is and your life experiences are. That's what's going to set you apart from any other Aquarius on the planet. Let's see what else we got going on here. Let's see what else we have going on here. Some of you all are singers, dancers, songwriters. Some of you all are chefs. Some of you all are college professors. Some of you all are attorneys. Some of you all are uh, doctors. I mean, some of you all are, um, you know, own uh, beauty bars. 
Um, some of you all, I mean, it, 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 it goes from this point to this point. You're not interested in worldly titles. You're interested in your life purpose. You're interested in your life purpose. And it's going to make somebody a lot of money and a lot of credibility, a lot of you being connected with people who see, who see what your purpose is and you see what their purpose is. So there is no jealousy. There is, hey, iron sharpening iron. I can exist in the same, I can clap and cheer for you just like when it's time for, for you to clap and cheer for me. That's the kind of energy source is sending your way. So continue doing your energy work, getting your chakras in alignment, okay? That's what source wants somebody to do. Two plus two is four. Four is the earth number. So you're getting rooted and grounded in the earth and you're not letting you know, demonic energy scare you away because of how, you know, it may have scared you away in the past. I got to move every, every six months. I got, I'm hoarding all of these, these memories and this, and I can't, I can't get settled in. You're like, not anymore, not anymore. So that's energy work. Um, and let's see what else we have here. So somebody's continuing to doing their own energy work. Like I said, but staying really rooted and grounded, finding the sun within yourself, staying laser focused, um, allow, allowing your light, your inner light to shine and not, not allowing yourself to get dogmatic and prideful um, in the process or even arrogant because now you found your light again. Remain in humility, but don't step down off of your throne anymore. Here we have the new romantic cycle begins. So somebody is sending, um, source is sending balance into your life, right? You're already, you, your divine masculine to your divine feminine is already balanced. I mean, it's already, you already have your scales of justice within, right? But what I'm saying for you is that source is sending other balanced energies into your life as well. So that's a good thing, you know, to be a part of a soul tribe of people who are equally balanced, Again, they can cheer for you, um, just like you can cheer for them. There's no, there is no jealousy. There's no envy. There's no none of those things that source is sending across your path. Because if if they're out of balance, you'll quickly be able to see it because you're not stepping down off of your throne anymore. You're not stepping down off of your throne anymore, Aquarius. So let's see what do you have here. Affirmations for abundance, because a lot of it is coming your way. Be in receiving mode. Forgive everybody that hurt you in the past. Recognize that some people have some real dark demons that they are not ready to face. They're not ready to heal from those demons. And again, you have to, like I said, exit their universe and get back on your throne. Here we have abundance is my birthright. There is a piece of pie with my name on it. Money flows to me easily and freely. I am attracting everything that I need for this season. I let go of what weighs me down. Opportunities align with my purpose surround me. I am true to myself. Abundance in every area of your life. Like I said, judgment is in somebody's favor in every area of your life. The things that you had to address at a lower frequency before sources like you're no longer a part of that. So you weren't making things up. You weren't delusional. You weren't crazy. Now you're using your, uh, you're transcending. Like I said, this is attached to Neptune, the planet Neptune, the planet of imagination and transcendence before people were able to try to use that against you. Oh, they were just imagining things. I didn't really say that. I didn't really do that. They were lying about this and lying about that. Remember this Neptune is about your spiritual escape. It's about, um, sacrifice um, it can also be chaotic and confusing. It can also mean disillusionment. It can almost also mean secular bliss. It's a lot of things that it, um, that it could represent, but now where you are, it also represents you dreaming even bigger, but without being on a frequency of people who saw you, who were in their own personal hell. So that is what I have for you, Aquarius. Again, this is your bonus reading. Thank you for joining me. Let's see. Did we pull a number? I don't think we pulled. Let me pull a number card and let's go ahead and close this out. Yeah. So, yeah, some people were absolutely been saying, oh, they are imagining things. They are exaggerating. They're not, that didn't really happen, but they weren't there when things happened to you. They weren't there. That's why there are some people right now who are really guessing like, you know, was I imagining things that I allow somebody to. Did, did I, did I make something up? Like they, they're in the same position that they try to accuse you of being in. Like, did I imagine things and maybe I can get a do over with an Aquarius, but the answer is no, it's no, because you already went back to your throne. You tried to help as much as you could. You like, if I, if I stayed down and somebody else is in their universe in their own personal hell, 
I may have gotten, you know, consumed by their fire, right? But you're, you, you moved on. Your number is 31. I am disciplined. I thought I saw a number. Did I pick a... Okay, yeah, so anyway, I am disciplined, 31, reiterating the number four. Remember we said the number four, 22, and then also 31, both the number four. Again, this is really a re reiterating, you are getting rooted, rooted and grounded. You're disciplined, right? You're disciplined, you're rooted and grounded. Your approach to life is an effort, is an effective mix of both practicality and imagination. Your mind is staring with uh, creative ideas, and you have the organizational skills to manifest them to life. That's right. That is what I have for you. Thank you for joining me. I will see you all on Motivational Monday. Bye.